Hey YouTube, really quick tutorial today. Um, today I'm gonna be showing you how to use FabFilter Pro Q3, but you can do this with any stock EQ. You can do it with Logic Stock EQ. You can do this in Ableton, FL Studio, whatever you want. Basically what I'm gonna be showing you how to do is you take your banded EQ and you're gonna boost it way up and then sweep through the instrument or sound. And what that's gonna let you do is find problem frequencies by kind of making everything super apparent. If we're looking for something in kind of that mud region, we just wanna crank it up, sweep around until we find like the most annoying sound. And then once we get the area that we wanna target, that we wanna pull out, then we bring it down. So we're gonna boost it all the way up, sweep around, find what we want to get rid of and then bring it down. So the clip I'm gonna show you is from a live stream I did over on Twitch where I was mixing an indie rock song live. I'm live every Sunday and Thursday on Twitch from eight Eastern time uh, if you wanna check any of that out. But anyway, here's the clip. I'm gonna kinda just show that what that looks like. Super fast, really useful technique. I hope you get something out of it. Hope you enjoy. It's kind of a resonant step I want to find that and just take a little bit of that out before we hit the compressor because we might just want to do this with a dynamic EQ Just clean a little bit of that. Leave any questions or comments down below. Subscribe.